From Oscar nominees to critic award winners, Netflix has its fair share of popular K-dramas packed up for viewers to enjoy. But in this luxurious world, we're here to shine some buzz on 10 most underrated K-dramas on Netflix to binge watch. These dramas have hidden narratives, magnetic characters, and unexpected plot twists taking center stage, leaving you craving for more. Number 10 is The Prison Playbook. This heartfelt drama gives a glimpse into a world of prisoners and their families. As well as the dedicated officers who keep things running smoothly behind bars. Starring some of the most talented actors, including Bae Kae Su, Jung Kyung Ho, and Crystal Jung. Prison Playbook is definitely a criminally underrated drama you don't want to miss out on. The story begins as Gim Ji Huk, a renowned baseball star, finds himself in hot water after using excessive force to protect his sister from a sexual assault. Shockingly to him and the rest of the nation, he's handed a one-year prison sentence just days before his scheduled departure to join the Boston Red Sox in the U.S. Inside the prison walls, he reunites with his childhood friend and fellow baseball player Lee Jun Ho, who gave up on baseball after a car accident, but is now a prison guard and one of Ji Huk's biggest fans. The drama revolves around Ji Huk's experiences in prison, the diverse characters he meets, and the meaningful events that take place there, changing his life. Number 9, Flower of Evil, dubbed the king of underrated dramas, is a refreshing departure from the typical plot bandwagon. With superb acting, gripping mystery, suspenseful thriller, and heartfelt characters, including a touching father-daughter relationship, Flower of Evil is a masterpiece. The story revolves around Bae Sung, who, although hides a dark secret surrounding his true identity, has established a happy family life and a successful career. He's a loving husband and a doting father to his young daughter, but his perfect facade begins to crumble when his wife, Cha Ji Won, a homicide detective, begins investigating a string of serial murders from 15 years ago. Ji Won notices changes in Hee Sung's behavior and begins to wonder if he could possibly be hiding something from her. Starring Lee Jun Hee, Moon Che Won, and Kim Jun Hee in extremely unexpected roles. This series will keep you on the edge of your seat till the very end. Next up on number 8 is Welcome to Waikiki, a hilarious sitcom-like K-drama with equally hilarious characters. The star-studded cast includes Lee Kyung, Kim Jung Hyun, Jung In Sun, and Gu Won Hee as the main characters. This story centers around three friends who aspire to make it big in the film industry, but are struggling to ace their dream jobs. In hopes of getting rich and as a means of gathering money for their upcoming film production, they manage a guest house named Waikiki in Itaewon. However, their hysterical ways to attract customers and earn cash always land them in trouble. Things become funnier when they decide to give shelter to a single mother and her baby daughter, who start to look like the key to their unfulfilled dreams and hassle-free life. From the get-go, this underrated series hooks viewers with its premise and delivers non-stop laughs. Trust us, it's an interesting ride you won't want to miss, especially if you're a comedy fan. Number 7 is Move to Heaven, a drama that hypothetically takes you on a ride to heaven because of how breathtaking and alluring the story is. Get ready to shed tears, beam with joy, and cherish every moment with your loved ones because, unlike typical romantic gay dramas, Move to Heaven is an underrated gem that'll take you on an emotional roller coaster. The drama follows Han Guru, played by Tang Jung Sang, a young man with Asperger's syndrome. He works for his father's business, Move to Heaven. After his father's death, Guru is left alone, but his uncle Cho sang played by Lee Ji-hoon, suddenly appears in front of him. sang is a cold man. He was a martial artist who fought in underground matches but went to prison because of what happened in his fight. And now he becomes Guru's guardian. Together, they work as trauma cleaners, clearing out the possessions of dead people and delivering their stories left behind to their families. 
Number six, Run On is a sweet slice of life romance drama that inspires us to chase our dreams while showing that nobody is born perfect. This underrated gem offers a tranquil escape from life's everyday struggles. MC Wan plays the role of a national athlete, Ki Sun Gyam, who stands up to bullying and violent practices between athletes, and for that, he is suspended from the team. He meets Oh Mi Ju, played by Shin Si Kyung, a passionate, grounded translator and interpreter obsessed with movies and sparks fly. We also have another couple in the drama, So Dan Ah, played by Che Su Young, the CEO of a sports agency and heir to a Jable company, but is held back from advancing due to her gender. She fiercely wishes to reclaim what is rightfully hers and lives her life accordingly. But her perspective on relationships shifts upon meeting Yi Young Hua, a university art major played by Kang Tae Ho. Both love stories offer a refreshing and realistic take on relationships surprising viewers. On top 5, we've got 18 again, an underrated 2020 K-drama that's a fresh take on Zac Efron's movie, 17 Again. This heartwarming story tackles life's struggles and the importance of cherishing every moment. Starring Kim Ha Nyul, Yoon Sang Hyun, and Lee Do Hyun, the drama follows Jung Da Jung and Hong Dae Young as they navigate marriage and parenthood. Jung Da Jung is a hardworking rookie announcer with a warm heart. Their seemingly perfect life is troubled by Dae Young's constant tantrums. When he gets fired and Da Jung reaches her breaking point, she files for divorce. Meanwhile, Hong Dae Young sees himself as an ordinary, unemployed middle-aged man full of regrets. At that moment, his body transforms into that of his 18-year-old self, but his mind remains 37. In his youth, he was a talented basketball player. Now, with his regained 18-year-old body, he has changed his name to Ko Woo Young and is beginning to live a new life to get closer to his children and protect them, gaining a new perspective on life. Number 4 is My Liberation Notes. This underrated gem is a perfect depiction of the dull and mundane lives of adults, reminding us that it's crucial to carve out moments of happiness for ourselves to break free from the norm. Set in Sanpo Village, where departures outnumber arrivals, My Liberation Notes brilliantly without any filters portrays the daily routines of three siblings yearning for freedom and excitement. Their lives take a turn when the youngest of the three, timid Yeom Mi Jung, played by Gim Ji Wan, comes across a mysterious stranger, Mr. Gu, played by Sung Sa Ku, loitering in their village. He is a drunkard with the look of someone with many burdens and secrets. His cautious personality and preference for keeping to himself make him the subject of gossip. As the characters gradually reveal their relatable struggles, viewers are drawn to their world on a deeper level. Don't miss out on this captivating healing drama for all the right reasons. Finally on number 3 we have Because This Is My First Life, a perfect blend of romance, comedy, and drama, as well as some important life lessons. Starring Jung So Min and Lee Min Ki, the drama follows Nam Se Hee, a single man in his late 30s who's chosen not to marry. He owns his home, but he owes a lot on his mortgage. Meanwhile, Yoon Ji Ho is a single woman in her early 30s. She does not own a home and envies those who do. She's given up on dating due to her financial struggles. Yoon Ji Ho begins to live at Nam Se Hee's house, entering into a contract marriage only to save money. But soon their lives become difficult with demanding in-laws and unrecognized growing feelings between them. This criminally underrated series shows the unlikely couple's married life, where they try to keep up the appearance of happy newlyweds, bringing a smile to the face with every episode and also a whiff of fresh air with its unique characters and storyline. Number 2 is Happiness. Picture this, with the dangerous COVID-19 pandemic, the concept of infectious disease isn't foreign to us. But a mysterious illness that transforms individuals into zombies? Now that's something worth discussing. Here comes Happiness, an underrated apocalyptic thriller that centers on the aftermath of a failed product. 
next, which causes a worldwide pandemic known as the mad person disease. Han Hyoju takes the lead as Yoon Se-bom, a sharp-witted special agent who, alongside her high school friend Jung Yi-hyun, played by Bae Kyung-sig, navigates the chaos. Pretending to be married, they secure shelter in a prestigious apartment complex reserved for civil servants. However, their home turns into a prison when the complex is sealed off due to the outbreak, revealing different intentions and personalities among the residents because of the pressure. Amidst the horror of zombies and suspenseful moments, happiness interweaves elements of romance and comedy as Sebom and Yi Hyun defy odds to unravel the mystery behind the outbreak. The top one on our list is My Mister, a graceful but underappreciated drama delving into age gap romances and complex family dynamics. <laughs> My Mister tells the story of three brothers who are struggling with their personal and professional lives. One of the brothers, Bok Dong Hoon, played by the late actor Yi Sun Kyung, is a middle-aged man who is stuck in a dead-end job, and recently discovered that his wife is having an affair with the senior executive of his company. At the same time, his colleague Yi Jian, played by IU, is in severe debt and constantly harassed by loan sharks, who subject her to intense beatings. Their fateful encounter begins when a stack of gift certificates worth 50 million won goes missing. They both form an unlikely friendship while grappling with the unbearable weight of their respective miserable lives. While My Mister may not be everyone's cup of tea due to its slow pace and dark tone, it captivates the audience with compelling storytelling and visually stunning cinematography, guaranteed to surprise those who enjoy dramatic K-dramas. And there you have it, in the world of countless K-dramas, some more underrated gems on Netflix are waiting to be uncovered. Share your picks in the comments below for our next list. See you in the next video.